welcome back. This is new lesson, practical finger style. I think this is the lesson number three. So make sure that you check the previous one as well. They're really good. I really like them. Okay. What happened with this lesson is I'm going to show you exactly what I was playing, which is uh, sort of a you know Spanish rumba kind of a compliment. It's a really, really good lesson, especially for your uh, right hand if you like this kind of Latino rhythm. Guys, a couple of things before we get started. Uh, you can support this channel and blitzkita.com, okay? You can have access to tabs, you can have access to some of my courses, okay? And it's all about a small donation, okay? Uh, you can check the description and click the link if you want to know a little bit more about it. If you want to get hold of this tab, uh, just check the description and click the link, okay? Or you can just enjoy this lesson and that's it, no action required, okay? Hopefully you're gonna like it, guys. Let's have a close-up and let me show you how to play this thing. Alright, let me play the whole thing slowly, so... Now, as you can see, we have a few chords and we're going to play them in a really specific way, which is a kind of an arpeggio kind of thing. Now, we're going to take it step by step and we're going to start just with the melody, okay, which is played with, always with the thumb. Now, the first chord is E minor, it's an E minor chord, and we're going to play it like that. You have the fourth string, fret number two, just always use the thumb on that. So, fret number two. Then you have the fret number 5 and the third string fret number 4. Okay, so just one more time, yeah? Fourth string fret number 2, then fret number 5 and fret number 4 on the third string. Good. Now, the cool thing is that the second chord is an A minor chord and we're gonna play it exactly following the same shape but all the way up to the 7th fret. So it's exactly the same thing. You have the 4th string fret number 7, then the fret number 10, and then on the 3rd string you're gonna have the fret number 9. Alright? 7, 10, 9. Always use the thumb, yeah? So, so far we have two chords. E minor, 2, 5, a minor is um, 7, 10, 9, okay? And the third chord is a B uh, major chord, B7 chord, and it's gonna be like that. Now, what am I playing here? As you can see, it's a different shape, so we need to kind of play it in a different way. You have the fourth string fret number 9, the third string fret number 8, and the third string fret number 11. So it's 9, 8 on the third string, and 11. So, so far we have three chords, E minor, A minor, B major, okay? And the last chord will be uh, another A minor, is this one so E minor and it's played like that so you have the third string fret number 9 fourth string fret number 9 and fifth string fret number 10 and that's it so it's 9 9 Okay. Now the first thing you want to do, you want to basically just practice this thing with the thumb slowly. You can practice one position at a time or you can combine two chords together. You can combine two chords together. The main thing is that you uh, really want to become fluent, okay, playing this thing just with the thumb and the melody, okay? Then we move on and we add the accompaniment. Now, the accompaniment is gonna be this one. And as you 
you can see, hopefully, uh, is basically a very simple accompaniment. We all always have the first open string and the second string. So how does it work? I'm gonna play the first note, so first chord E minor. I'm gonna play the first note. One, two, three. So I have the second count is on the first string with the middle finger and the third count is on the second string with the index finger. So I have one, two, three. Then I have the second note of the melody, fret five. One, two, three. Same thing. And then on the third note, okay, uh, which is the, the third string fret number four, I have the melody and just the first string. All right, so you have to remember that the third note only get one um, open string, which is just the first one. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then from here, you move on straight away to the second chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. You do exactly the same thing rhythmically, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And guess what? Third chord, exactly the same accompaniment. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And the fourth chord, we don't have to say that. It's exactly the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. So when you speed up a little bit, part when you speed up a lot okay so you want to take it step by step guys always start with the melody and then add the accompaniment now we also have the second part which is this one and it sounds a little bit more deep because obviously it's you know, on the first position and we have proper chords here. Now, how does it work? Let's always start just with the melody. You have the sixth open string. The And this is E minor chord again, yeah? So you have uh, the sixth open string, the fifth string fret number two, and the sixth string fret number three. So three notes, yeah? So sixth open, fifth string fret number two, and the sixth string for number three. Then I move on to uh, the second chord, which is the A minor, okay? Oh, by the way, when you practice the melody, make sure that you put down the E minor chord and you practice the sixth open string. Then the sixth string for number three, you wanna use the little finger, okay? And then the fifth string for number two is already there, okay? And so you have, or if you want, if you struggle with the little finger, just forget about it and just practice with the uh, second and first. Totally up to you, okay? The second chord is the A minor, and I have the fifth open string, then the uh, fifth string fret number three, and the fourth string fret number two. Okay, so it's fifth open, fret number three, and the fourth string, fret number two. All right, so far we have two chords, E minor and A minor. The last chord is a very simple chord. Uh, it looks difficult, but it's actually, it's, it's easy to memorize. It's a B7 chord, and you have the fifth string, fret number two, the fourth string for number one, the third string for number two, the second open, and the first string for number two. And with this one, we're gonna have basically the fifth string, the fourth string, the third string, and the second. So you really wanna put down the whole chord and just with the thumb, play the fifth, fourth, 
third and second. When you put it when you put the whole thing together you will have okay and we finish with uh, the phrase now before we move on to the last part I just want to show you the accompaniment which is exactly the same thing we played before so you have the one note of the melody then the first and the second string so one so it's one two three the second note of the melody and the accompaniment again on first and second so it's one two three one two three one two remember that the last note only get one open string okay so it's one two three one two three one two I move on to the A minor. Now when it comes to the A minor, which is the second chord, we're gonna have obviously uh, the melody, you already know it, but when we do the accompaniment, what happens is we need to add also the second string, fret number one. So you will have fifth open, first and second string, fret one, fifth string, fret number three, first open, second string, fret one, and the fourth string, fret number two, and the first open. So. so you have to remember when you have the A minor to add the second string fret number one to the accompaniment. And then I move on to the B and I have exactly the same accompaniment. This time I'm gonna have fifth string, one, two, three. So I'm plucking the first string fret number two. That's the reason why you wanna put down the whole chord and really just let the right hand doing all the job, okay? So it's the fifth string, one, first, second, fourth string, first and second, and the third string, so. Now remember that the third note always get one open string, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then you finish just with the second open string. Alright? So the whole thing. Sorry. And we're gonna finish with this phrase. So you have the fifth string fret number three, fret number two, open, sixth string fret number three, fret number two, and sixth open. When I play the sixth open string, I also put down E minor add nine, which is sixth open, fifth string fret number two, fourth string fret number four, and then open, open, open. It's a beautiful chord. Okay. Hopefully you like this lesson, guys. Uh, make sure that you check the description and click the link if you want to have the tab. See you next time.